Welcome back to another YouTube video talking about SEO and AI and in today's episode what I will be showing you guys is this website here where we did not upload any content or we didn't build any links and we have seen some tremendous results. So as we can see here we actually had 601 referring domains and we haven't built a single link. We've actually started to lose referring domains. However, our keyword count has went up now. We haven't uploaded any articles, we haven't built any links, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly the process that you need to take, and it's gonna take you no more than 10 minutes from start to finish. Now, before I go into the actual video, what I want you guys to do is take a guess as to what industry you think this website is in. I'll give you guys three seconds. One, two, three. Right, let's get started. So this website is specifically going after calculators and there are some very easy to win calculators out there that have a lot of search volume and are very low in keyword difficulty. And I'm gonna show you guys two methods that you can find these keywords and essentially start building out your site with minimal costs. So step number one is obviously looking at tools like Ahrefs and figuring out which calculators are probably the best ones to go for on your website. And step number two is going after what comes up in the Google Auto Suggest. So what I mean by that is if we were to search for calculator four, and then you can just do A, B, C, D, and essentially find a nice list of keywords to go after. So what I'll be doing is I will be building out two calculators in this video from start to finish, and we're also gonna be styling it so it looks quite nice on the website. And if any of you guys are worried, thinking, oh my God, I'm not a developer, you don't need to be. ChatGBT is going to essentially do all of the work for us. So it's going to be massively in our favor, especially if we don't have any development or coding knowledge. So step number one, I want to take a look at some solar calculators and we are going to essentially replicate that. Now, what we're going to do is go into ChatGBT and paste our prompt. So this is the prompt that we're going to be using. I need you to code me a PHP solar calculator and I need you to ask the following question your kilowatts per hour used per year, your solar hour day, and the amount of electricity bill to offset. And I want you to answer, and I want the answer to spit out solar array e estimate. So if you, any of you guys have, for example, a solar panel website, this would be a brilliant resource to have on your website. And essentially all we have done is the questions we have just replicated off of this website. So now we're gonna click on send message. It's gonna do its thing. It's gonna take a couple minutes for it to generate. So now that ChatGPT has finished coding our calculator, what we want to do is do two additional steps. We're gonna turn this into what's called a short code and a WordPress short code you can essentially use anywhere on your website, whether it's on five pages or two posts or wherever. So. The next prompt we're gonna give ChatGBT is turn this into a WordPress shortcode. Click enter and it's gonna do its thing and it's gonna convert it into a shortcode and we can very quickly paste it into our website and it should work. So now it has converted the code into a shortcode and what we're gonna do is copy this and let's just test to see if it works. So if we go into our website here and I just need to move this out of the way. Then if we go over to tools and let's click on theme file editor and what we're gonna be doing is clicking on functions.php or the themes functions. Scroll all the way down and what we're gonna do is add a note. So do forward slash forward slash and we're gonna call this our solar calculator. Solar calc, we'll call it that. You can name it anything that you want and the line underneath that we're just going to copy our chat gbt code and paste it in here click update file and if you are ever confused as to what the actual short code is we can go into chat gbt and as you can see here the short code is solar underscore calculator square bracket so we're just going to copy that go over to add a new post and click on add new post we're gonna title this as solar. Paste our shortcode in. If you guys are using Gutenberg, you can also do forward slash shortcode and paste it in here. Either or works. Um, I'm just gonna use the Gutenberg shortcode. Click on publish. 
and if we go to the page, so as you can see here, we have our calculator. What we're gonna do now is just fill this in very quickly and we're gonna do, actually, we're gonna do 12, 14 hours a day and we want to offset our bill by 25%. And as you can see here, solar array estimates 2.94 kilowatts. Now, this works fine. We're gonna take this one step further and make this into a nicer looking calculator. So when people land on this page, they will actually want to use it. And right now it just looks like a five-year-old's made this. So if we go back to ChatGBT and create one last prompt. So the last prompt that we will be using is, can you style the calculator so it's mobile friendly and also uses Tailwind CSS library. So for anybody that doesn't know the Tailwind CSS library, it essentially has a load of preset CSS that will work fine on mobiles, tablets, etc. So we are essentially making a nice user experience if somebody was to land on our page using a mobile or a tablet. So now ChatGPT has finished creating our mobile friendly form. What we're gonna do now is go back into our theme file editor, copy our new code. And what we're gonna do is find solar calc and delete everything underneath it. So this is our note, if you remember, line 208. We're gonna just delete everything underneath it and paste in our new code, click on update file. And if we go back to the solar calculator page, as you can see, this looks a lot nicer. So what we're gonna do now is just fill in the form. So solar hours per day, we're gonna use the solar panels for 15 hours and we want to reduce our bill by 33% and solar array estimates 6.33 kilowatts. So that is calculator number one. So the next calculator I will be building out very quickly is the stamp duty calculator for shares. And this calculator is gonna take way less time to build out than the previous one because we have our chat GPT all preset and ready to go. So now the prompt that we are gonna use is can you create a stamp duty calculator for shares with the same CSS library? Click on send and we will have a stamp duty calculator in a matter of minutes. So ChatGPT has just finished building our stamp duty calculator. What we're gonna do now is just go back to our theme file editor, click on functions.php or theme functions, scroll all the way down to the bottom, click on enter. So we are on a new line and just click paste. And as you can see here, this is our stamp duty calculator for shares short code. Click on update file and let's just go back to ChatGBT. So this here is our short code. So what we want to do is just copy that, go to posts, all posts here, and then just click on add new post. We're gonna call this the stamp duty calc. And yet again, we're gonna just do forward slash short code, paste our short code in there and click on publish. And if we load up the page, as you can see, we have a stamp duty calculator for shares, a very similar style to our solar panels calculator. And we're just gonna hit 50,000, click on calculate. And as you can see here, stamp duty is gonna cost us 250. Now, a few things about these calculators is that if you want to specifically add in its own value, you will need to potentially tweak the code a little bit. So as you can see here, it's very, very basic math. It is dividing it by 0.5. So if you did want to up it to 0.7, or you can essentially just have a very quick play around. As I said, it is not impossible to understand this. ChatGBT has made calculator build outs very, very easy, especially if you are watching this video and you're turning the calculators into WordPress shortcodes. So that's been my video on building out a website with no content and also no links and keeping costs very, very low. If you like this video, please remember to leave a like, also comment down below with other video suggestions. And if you want a free consultation with me, remember to check out kajradash.com in the description below. Cheers.